I want to rifle off a handful of things that explain uh, giving good phone, i.e. talking well on the phone. Hashtag give good phone under hashtag CS183S, as in sales. So cadence, tempo, and volume. Cadence, tempo, and volume. Those are the three things that uh, are slightly counterintuitive to uh, a young person who typically doesn't like to talk on the phone. And this basically solves the ageism issue for when executives don't think that young people are worth giving responsibility to, let alone money in a contract when you don't work there. So when you're selling an executive, uh, cadence, tempo, and volume. Let me repeat that, cadence, tempo, and volume. Let's start with the easy one, volume. You almost need to scream into the cell phone device, especially if you're talking on an iPhone, uh, if there's ambient noise also, screaming into it. And the thing that I have heard uh, is just shocking is when you're on University Avenue, listen to listen to cars and their speakerphone. They are set so loudly. It's because older executives, they don't hear so well. We don't hear very well. So when you're screaming into the phone, that at least gets you a shot at being heard. And you have to actually enunciate past the microphone that you're talking into, or at least try to aim your voice past the voice, past the microphone. Whereas you could be aiming it away or aiming it down, and you leads me to my next point with cadence. With cadence, you're not just going to sit in the fetal position because then your cadence is going to slow. Uh, and you don't want it to slow. You want to be able to be efficient in spending time because you're only going to get micro bursts. And that leads to tempo. Think of tempo best as an engineer trying to sell. Think of tempo as a game that could end where you get time extensions. Where initially they're going to want to, because there's no need and no trust, they're going to want to get rid of you right away. So little things that you say will be able to extend your time. And when your cadence is correct with your ability to wedge in short bursts of data, short bursts of mentorship, that will give you small time extensions and it will give you a, a non-telephone call hang-up. Um, and cadence, tempo, and volume. So when you're also talking about tempo, your tempo is going to be ruined by the real world. It's not just that they're disinterested in the widget that you're selling or even aware of your competitors. You're trying to compete against the executive's day. So an executive will sometimes put you on hold and your ability in tempo, keeping tempo with, yes, go ahead and take that call. That's what you're trying to encourage the flow of his day and sometimes he's gonna have to put you on hold. Your ability to be put on hold, keep your train of thought, and then let him put you on hold or put you sometimes on hold repeatedly, which is, which is an art to be put on hold, where, where you come back from being put on hold and you don't have a long cadence. You just say, yeah, go ahead, put me on hold. Um, but politely and succinctly allow them to put you on hold because an old person, okay, all they do is talk on the telephone like a droid or a C-3PO. They're constantly talking to multiple, multiple people because that's what managers do. They talk and they buy stuff. They don't really sell stuff, but sometimes they do sell stuff, in which case you're going to be the lowest priority because you're selling into them. So I hope some of these uh, telephone tips uh, are helpful for you. If you'd like to call me as an engineer and talk to me, uh, text me two minutes before you call, and my phone number is 650-283-8008. And in listener train of thought, let me repeat that. Listener train of thought is genius, where that also goes with cadence and tempo, where you, the thoughts that you're putting out there, you know that are being received.
650, grab a pen. This is a form of listener train of thought, but via video, right? 283-8008. Yes, it ends in 8008. On purpose.